at Branding Beauty Academy. We wanted to show the mother some love, so we decided to create Mother Day Brunch Inspired Nails. So take a look at how we accomplished these extravagant nails. So to get things started, I always have the girls sketch out exactly what they want to do and assign who's going to do what. Wait, what are you working on? So I am working on putting the acrylic on the nails and then that way the press on can actually stick onto the nail. So I'm trying to shape it nice and make it nice and thick. What are you working on, Shakira? Right now, I'm making a base for my tank nail. My tank nail is, it's pretty much a nail that's going to hold liquid, and it's going to have little fruits and glitter in it. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a mimosa nail. Yay! <laughs> so what's your plan for the base nail? So for the base nail... That's the inside of the card, right? Yes. Do you want color or you want to... Paint it, like what's the color gonna be? If I do color, it will have to be something light because I, that's the that's the one I'm gonna do some lining, some line work and writing. Maybe it should be pink since this is a little purple. Mm -hmm. so that what are you What are you sketching? Okay, so I'm sketching out my nail, right? And so what I'm going to do is do a hard chocolate box. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to put in like each of the boxes. So I was thinking I could do chocolate, and since we have like the fruit charms or whatever, I could like stick them in there, make them like a fruit chocolate basket in a way. Mmm. Okay, with the little fruits. Yeah, with the little fruits. Like a um. Ooh. Or yeah. what if you drizzle brown on some of the fruit pieces? Yeah. Then it's like an edible arrangement. Exactly. That's chocolate. what I was thinking. Yes. yes. So I'm gonna do a fruit chocolate basket, kind of edible arrangement type of thing. Nice. So, yeah. so here, me and Danesha are using some rhinestone glue to attach the hinges for the secret door nail. So now we're gonna get the other nail. No, matter of fact, we're gonna get what? Oh, she took it. We're gonna get the rhinestone glue and we're gonna glue a little bit more so it can be a little steady. But afterwards, we're gonna get another nail, which is this one. We're gonna glue this one from the inside. Oh, maybe it should be from the inside. And then it's gonna be like a closing effect. So it's gonna be on the top. See that? Okay. So we got the backing onto the tank now. Now I'm just gonna file up the sides, clean everything up, all this access off, maybe put another layer just to seal everything. Did you and, seal it in the back? Um, I did seal it in the back, so it's not gonna detach at all. No, 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 to, do you have an opening? Right here, at the top. Gotcha. So I can feel it at the top. Okay, all right, then, what are you working on? Um, I'm a cat nail, so I'm making an iridescent nail because I have an idea of kind of iridescent flowers with these crows here. So that I'm trying to figure out which colors are the best for what flower. Okay. Lisa, yeah. what are you molding? <laughs> so I am trying to mold the heart as best as I can. So I'm trying to do the middle of the heart, trying to separate them and then trying to mold it with a cuticle pusher or whatever. <laughs> Melissa, what are you yes. working on? I am making the background for what is going to be the 3D breakfast and I just wanted to make like a picnic table uh, like a picnic table background. So I just started like this cuz it's much easier, but mm -hmm. now I'm going to fill in the smaller spots that are supposed to make it actually a picnic table. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have here? We have the stems for my bouquet. So, if I said it right, I'm just rolling it out like that so I could cure it. And then I could make my little petals off of these and just stick it on. So this one's already cured, so it just stays stiff like that. And then that's what it kind of looks like at the end, this finished product one. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. 
You finishing up the heart? Yeah, see, I built the heart first, the foundation, and then I did the rim. So then that way it looks like a box. And now I'm gonna put the chocolates inside, which I am curing now. I made a little mini chocolate heart and then a little chocolate nugget. And I'm gonna do more now. Okay. I'm like a painter, I'm like Bob Ross. Oh, you are! Oh my god! She went god. real far with that one. Okay. <laughs> she said Bob Ross. <laughs> She's making no, Bob Ross. No, girl, this is me. <laughs> we Bob Ross. <laughs> So as the girls continue to get their Bob Ross on, we can see that they are hard at work making all the many components that are going into these nails. So here we have the final look for the Mother's Day brunch inspired nails. And I was so proud of these girls for this work. We have Shakira's Mimosa Aqua Nail, Danesha's Mother's Day opening card nail, Kimberly's flower bouquet that she handcrafted petal by petal, and Melissa's breakfast brunch nail, and Lisette's heart shaped chocolate box nail. These nails were absolutely gorgeous. I'm so proud of you girls for this work. Happy